Good morning, guys. It's pretty early in the morning, so I'm out here in my garage so I don't wake any of my family up. But I just wanted to come on and share some something encouraging and something that my husband and I have, have been going through. Um, right now, we've been going through a pretty intense struggle. And it seems like yesterday, the fight was on, man. The last 24 hours, it felt like we were in the boxing ring trying to just get our way out. And... I was talking with God this morning and praying him and thanking him because we had some breakthrough yesterday. We had some wonderful breakthrough and we all have gotten a good night's sleep, which is wonderful. Sleep is so good. But anyways, as I was talking to God this morning, he kept reminding me of these dreams I've, I've had over the last few weeks. And one week I had one every night in a row and they're nothing special. There isn't much to them. But it's dreams of, of me living in community with the people I know, my church family, my neighbors. But it, in the dream, it was like a, a really, really small town. And they all lived together and we were all there for one another and we all provided for one another. And we all supported one another. I mean, that was the basic dream. Nothing major ever happened. We were just always there for one another. And after yesterday, as I sat and thought about everything that we had gone through, the struggle we were going through was something we had never faced before. I had no experience in this. I didn't know what my next step was. But because of the community that was already around me, my church family, my neighbors, and I knew them, I loved them, they loved me, I called several of them up and I said, look, we're going through this and I know you have experience or this is what you do in your career. Can you help me? I need to know what my step, next steps are. I need to know what to look for. And because of these people that God had already placed in my path as tools for me to grab out of my toolbox, they helped us overcome some major, major battles yesterday. And it brings me to Acts 4, where they talk about the, um, the apostles and the community they built. And you go to Acts 4, 34 and read on down to the end. It said, neither was there any among them that lacked. For as many were possessors of lands or houses sold them. And they brought the prices of the things that they sold. And they laid them down at the apostles' feet. And distribution was made upon every man according to his needs. So I really feel like God is saying that it's time for community to battle together. I really feel like he is building his church. He is showing us how each one of us is a tool in his toolbox that he needs to pull out and mend us together to use so we can battle together. When you battle together, you overcome quicker. When you step out and you lean on somebody else, that's twice as much strength that you're able to get through and get to the next one. So it is about community battle. So I want to pray over us today. I want to encourage you. If you're going through a struggle, start thinking about the people that are surrounded you. Start thinking about what they do, who they are, if they are a tool that you can grab to come along and help you battle. Sometimes we have tools in our own toolbox that we need to lend to our neighbor. And that is what it's about, building community because we have got to start battling together. So let me pray for you, and I hope this encouraged you. I hope it uh, maybe gave you some direction in some areas. Father, we just thank you for community. We thank you for your word and what the apostles did and how they are showing us that we have to lay our foundation just as they did on you and that you were a servant. And that is what you're teaching us to do, to serve one another. Father, thank you for the tools that you have put in our toolbox that we are able to lend one another, to lean on one another, to battle together so we can build your body, Father. I just praise you that you are building your body, that you are sewing us together, mending us together, and it is you that holds us together, Father. I just thank you. I praise you, and I just honor you today. Thank you for getting us through these battles. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. And guys, I think no matter what we're going through, this is about ferocious, focused faith. 
Be blessed. Amen. And I love you guys.